Is Uber for? Hmm? Huh? Sorry? Right? Right? No, no, it's just in the initial P. What does that stand for? Why? I want to know who I'm picking, that's all. The one here needs to know is the reason why I just said P if people don't need to know my name. Oh, it's for safety, right? Okay, all right, you can go. Right over. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Uber rider lies to police and dash cam clears the driver. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Is Uber for? Hmm? No, no, it's just an initial P. What's that stand for? I want to know who I'm picking, that's all. The one you need to know is the reason why I just said P if people don't need to know my name. Oh, it's for safety, right? All right, you can go. Right over. You've taken my money, I'm not leaving this cab. No, I didn't even take any money. Yes, you have, I trust my but you have. Trip. Has not been started. You do not need to record me. I'm calling the police. That's bullshit. You can leave the car. The I'll call him. <laughs> I have no reason to tell you my name, sir. Then I can't take you. Safety. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm beyond her. I what? Well, if you're not going to provide me your name, I can't take you. Pat. What's that? My name is Pat. I can't. Patricia. I can't take you now. Sorry. Patricia. Sorry, man. Patricia. What's your problem? Please hang up and dial 911. Hey, please. Hello. Hi there. Yes. Hi. I'm an Uber driver, and I have a passenger. Because I won't tell him my name for my own safety. He will not drive me. I am. Okay. Where are you, sir? Uh, I'm at the address here. Is uh, 51. One second, just pulling it up here. 51 Delaney Crescent. And what's the issue? Uh, passenger will not tell me her name, and for safety reasons, we can't take her. And for my safety, and she, I would like to not give my name. And she will not Are leave. You, she's refusing to leave my vehicle. As he's already charged me. Is she, Are you picking her up from 51 Delaney or dropping her off there? Attempting to pick her up. And you're an Uber driver? Yes, ma'am. Isn't it all booked through, like, via app, so you would know her name? She didn't put her name down in the app, she just puts the letter down. Oh, okay. She just puts the letter down, so, and I can't take whatever phone without a name for security. Okay. What kind of car are you in? I'm in a Ford Focus 2013. It's a dark gray one with an Italian flag on the top. What's your name? Uh, it's Peter. And so why, and so she won't get out of your car either? No, I've been to the trip and she's refusing to leave. Alright, she's uh, on it. Never mind, she's out of the car now. The reason drivers, why I'm talking about this is because I used to be an Uber driver. And the entitlement of some of these passengers is mind-blowing. Like, for real. I mean, it is, it is mind-blowing to to see the entitlement of these passengers that get into these complete strangers car now as we all know that you know working or driving for uber you are a independent contractor of the app the app just provides a service it's a connection between you the driver and the passenger that's your car that's your car. You're not, you, you're only bound to Uber's terms of an, of agreement on your side as a, as, as a, uh, what do you call it? As an IC, an independent contractor of the app. You're not bound to anything to the passengers though. See, that's what some of these passengers don't realize is that when you get in somebody's car you're getting in somebody's car and when the driver owner of that car asks you to leave because you don't want to provide a name or whatever the case get out of the man's car 
and go. See, listen, listen, when I was an Uber driver and I came across entitlement like that, I don't play. I don't play. We don't play the back and forth. We don't play these away games. If you don't want to provide your name for me or put your kid in a in a in a in a seat belt or you going to do at some more at some amount of stuff or you going to argue with me in my car, I'm going to pull the smooth over and you going to get out of the car. It's just that simple. We ain't going to involve the police. We ain't going to involve anything else. I'm just going to get out of my car and pull the door open and ask you politely to exit the vehicle. Now, I had I I was the originality of of driver cameras in my car, right? So tell me why I get a call from the Cleveland office of Uber slash management. And he says, hey, uh, I I see you got cameras in your car. Yeah, what you see. Yeah, I, I mean, I do got cameras in my car, but how, how you see it? Yeah, we we got a we, we got a, a, a picture in our email uh they 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 express concerns of of privacy privacy uh bro they they don't get no privacy when they in my car well well we think uh you know they you know we think that the passengers do have a little bit of uh have a little bit of uh uh expectation of privacy while you know while taking the uber okay well i tell you what if you pay for my car you pay for the fuel you pay the the car note you pay everything on here then i am bound by whatever you want me to do in the car until you guys actually do that this is my car and when you get in my car expectation of privacy is out the window that's the same thing when you get into a taxi because taxi has uh uh dash cameras and and inside cameras same thing with the rta you know when you get on the bus expectation of privacy is thrown out the window when you get on that bus they got cameras all over the bus so when you get in my car for a ride which you're only going 1.2 mile you're going down the street your 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 expectation of privacy is out the window out the door so what are you trying to tell me well well we're, what we're trying to say is is that you know when 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 passengers get in the car can you turn the camera away from the passenger oh and oh okay so you want me to turn the camera away from them so they they can turn around and do something right they can do something and and <clears throat> I, I won't be able to capture it on camera for evidence, right? I I won't be able to do that. That's what you're saying. I won't be able to do that. They they can claim that I said, did, done, or anything like that. So it'll be my word against theirs. No, sir. No, ma'am. Not gonna happen. We're not gonna do that. You just gonna get out. Period. I'm not going to, again, go back and forth with these people. That's why I stopped doing Uber because it was just getting to a point that like, really? You know, you getting up in my car and you and your, your entitlement just because you are a passenger and you paying $5, $10? Bro, I'm not getting the money. Well, you, you, you pay you, you you took my money no no you gave your money to uber 
You ain't give your money to me. You ain't give your money to me. And in this case right here, dude didn't even start the ride. So how did he take the money? You gave the money to Uber. When you get out, you can contact Uber via email, like you guys always do, complain, and ask for your money back. Now, of course, you're gonna complain your side of the story, but as we see here, the video camera proves that you didn't want to give the driver your full name. You know, you put P M A L. Okay, Mr. Mr. P, is it? What's your full name? I, I want to know who I'm driving. You you could be you you can be Mr. X Killer, something like that. I want to know who I'm driving. You didn't put your name in the app. You put a, a, a letter and then you're going to turn around. Well, for my safety reasons, I don't want nobody to know my name, bro. You getting in a you getting in a car with a complete stranger. You, you don't expect no type of, of of safety issues right there. Don't you know what be going on in these Ubers? I seen a video. I can't find it. I wish I had it for this episode, but a couple of couple of guys got in an uber uber driver minding his own business driving out the way old boy pulled a gun out to jack him uber driver said no not tonight not today uber driver put that bad boy in space mode i mean he was he was a hundred down the highway or down the street ain't playing and the kid in the in the dudes in the back like you know i don't want to die uh, i don't want to die I don't wanna, but you pulled a gun out and, and 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 try to carjack this dude i, I don't want to die i i, I don't want to die i hey 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 he don't want to die either he didn't want to die that night but i tell you what though if he was going to die he wasn't going to be by himself <laughs> you want the car cool we'll we'll hey you want the car? I'm going to take the seatbelt on. We're going to do about a hundred. Hop on the 90, find, go over the 480 and smooth go off that bridge together, bruh. That's how it's going to work, man. The entitlement of some of these Uber drivers is just, it just, it just scratches my head drivers. And again, like I said, I know some of you uh you know y'all do uber on your off time you know i talked to a few of you guys that say hey you know i do uber on my off time you know like if i'm doing a two day or a three day or something like that you know i'll go out and get a couple of dollars you know just to go out for a drink or whatever whatever and that's cool though that's cool but 
like I said, man, you, you Uber passengers, man, Uber passengers, Lyft passengers. I, I've seen it more proficient in Lyft than I did at Uber back in the day. But now it seems that these Uber passengers now is just, man, drivers, let's get the conversation started. Have you, you know, if you was an Uber driver prior to coming into trucking, you know, let us know some horror stories if you got some, man. Let us know in the comments below. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me out?